This thing has been sitting in my vault, ready to go for weeks now. I'm probably not alone in this, but I have yet to take this thing into Crucible. I'm not a fan of 600 RPMs. I didn't know what to expect. Honestly, I gotta be fair, I was expecting this thing to be absolutely terrible. I thought it'd be eh, capable of killing, but not very good. And I was extremely wrong. I was very wrong. And there's some really interesting trait combinations for this gun that really allow it to exceed expectations. And I wanna talk about why I'm bringing this to the forefront right now. And I started talking to myself earlier. I'm like, Pwn, hey, the Shior's Wrath is being retired this weekend. The Multimock has already bit the dust. It's gone out of the loot pool. We can't farm for the two best options, which means there's only a few possibilities for us that love SMGs to get out there and pursue our god rolls and play in the Crucible with. What do we have here? We've got the submission. We have the funnel web, two excellent options, but you could spend months trying to farm for your god roll and never come close to obtaining it. That is just not very friendly. So then I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> deduction, and that leaves you forensic. Let's see what you got. And I was really impressed with this thing. So I'm going to talk about one glaring flaw with this weapon that I hope Bungie will fix here in the near future. Talk about the strengths and the god roll of this thing. So if you guys enjoyed today's commentary, subscribe, tick that bell. We got a lot more coming down the line. So let's jump into what I recommend you guys to use if you are going to craft this thing. So I chose small board. I wanted to hit that sweet spot at 50 stability. I got a little bit of boost of range right there. Hammer Forge is a great alternative. High caliber rounds are, of course, ricochet rounds are the two options right here. I opt into high caliber rounds. Any chance I can to add additional flinch and range, I will realistically use this thing over accurized and ricochet every chance I can for a crucible loadout. Perpetual motion is one of the strongest things on pretty much any gun right now. And I absolutely love this trait and that does not change for the forensic nightmare. You get additional stability handling and reload speed with this thing, which is really, really good because those are obviously the weaker three areas of the entire weapon. With the 27 mag capacity, any additional reload speed is going to really help you and synergize with our final trait, which is kill clip. You get an increase to DPS after a kill and reload. This thing is tremendous, and the reason that I like these two is they synergize really well together, and they strengthen not only the damage, but also the stability and handling. And together, that is a dangerous combination for an SMG. The gun without a doubt has one of the best combinations of traits in the game. High caliber rounds, kill clip, perpetual motion, phenomenal loadout, ideally my three favorite on any SMG. It has one huge, absolutely huge flaw, which you will notice if you pay attention to these gunfights, and that is a tremendous amount of muzzle flash. This icy wave just comes straight out of the barrel and really just kind of disorients me when I'm using it. It blocks a lot of my vision. I remember having situations like this in old guns that I used to favor. I think the bad juju, the necrochasm, way back in D1 used to be really, really good, but the all around surrounding of the barrel in my sights completely obstructed where I'm looking and a lot of times when I'm shooting between grenade blasts, void explosions and everything else that's going on that's busy in a gunfight, the last thing I need is my gun to be kicking off a bunch of different lights and basically clouds at the end of my barrel. If you're watching this bungee, please, dad, fix this for us. I wanna be able to use this thing. I know it's stasis, it's supposed to be frosty and icy and ooh, immersion. But for the love of God, if I can't actually see where my bullets are going, I can't use this weapon. I am already going to miss enough shots on my own. I don't need your help. Thanks, though. <laughs> it's just, why obstruct the vision? It's too much. We've seen this in other guns. Please change and reduce this heavily. On paper, this thing is an absolute tool of destruction. I love this thing. The traits are some of my favorites on an SMG ever. And honestly, if it's not for that muzzle flash, I would be maining this thing a lot. I don't think it's on the same level as the multi mock. It might be just underneath Shire's Wrath, but at the end of the day, this gun is a contender for Crucible. It's going to be better than you expect, and the fact that it's obtainable early on, you can craft this for very limited materials. I think this is a great thing for people that are fans of SMGs inside of Crucible. So if you found the video useful, consider leaving a thumbs up as it helps with the YouTube algorithm, and I will catch you with another video tomorrow.